Hello all, I'm Josh. And I'm Heather, and we are from Try Hard Enthusiast on Instagram. And this is pickup video number four. Yes? Yes. Sure. I think we're on four by now. Or three, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but we, I think we've got a smaller, smaller variety than we did last time, but then we've said this the other couple of times and they still end up being like this cool. is definitely smaller yeah um although this time we do actually have collector's editions to show off yeah a couple of them a couple of them. but uh, i guess we'll get started with like the small hodgepodge group first and i have the tiniest thing to show off first let me try to hold it up uh might be able to get it i think it's yeah i don't know if it's in in focus It's a little DS game, they're hard to get on the camera. There we go. Kind of, maybe. Oh, oh. Good enough. Anyway, so the first game is uh, <laughs> Drone Tactics. We'll put a screenshot up. Is Drone Tactics for the DS. Um, it's another rarer Atlas game. Essentially, just think Zoids with bugs. Yeah. And it's a strategy RPG. Um, yeah, it's just one of the games I had when I worked at GameStop. Obviously, I was really big into Zoids at the time, so anything relating to Zoids, I, I tended to pick up. Cool. So next up, we have Shantae and the Pirate's Curse for the 3DS. Um, never played the Shantae games, but they look really interesting, and I love the style of game. Mm -hmm. This one. We also we have the pre-order for the new one, right? Yep, we have the pre-order for the one from Limited Run. I don't know if we did the collector's edition or not. I don't remember. But uh, this was just a, another game I claimed in a claim sale on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I figured since we're getting the Switch copy, might as well start collecting the other ones. There's a series that probably would end up trying to get all of them eventually. Mm -hmm. So we can both do this one. So... Another limited run game that was being released is Blaster Master was Blaster Master Zero One and Two. Yes. I've never played Blaster Master, but I have. You have. So I figured why not kinda get in the mood for it. And got I can't get used to this glare. <laughs> There we go. Uh, Blaster Master, was it Blasting Again? Yep, Blasting Again for the PS1 and... The original. The original. So, uh, yeah. yeah. This is the one I grew up on. But the original one, the NES. Um, I didn't play the second one as much, but definitely grew up playing this one. Which is hilarious, because the second one's on the Genesis. Like this is a game Which series. Which is why I didn't play that much. I yeah, didn't have up. this is a, a game series that has spanned over so many different systems. Because mm -hmm. you have the NES, you have the Genesis, PS One, uh, Game Boy, and I want to yeah. say there was one more. I don't remember. This one makes me laugh because but, blasting away, I think of Team Rocket. Yeah. <laughs> but it's an inter interesting series. It's always great when you're doing platforming with a tank. <laughs> is, it, is it one of the, the gimmicks of this that you can also get out of the vehicle? Yes, you can get out of the vehicle and go into like little mini dungeon things. Or just run around. It's not really recommended to get out and run around though, because you're what? squishier. Oh, yeah, I guess. I mean, there are places the tank can't go, so you have to get out, so. Alright, next we have another NES game, and I picked up Balloon Fight. This is a game I grew up with. It's That's Joust. It pretty much is joust, <laughs> but it's it's so much fun. It really is, and I this is just a game that I kind of held off buying for a little while. I noticed the price started going up with most games. All this craziness going up, so I figured I'd go ahead and pick it up while it's still kind of on the low side. So the next game is a game. It's actually one of the two in this series I haven't played, but. We already this had is the original. It. We already had it. We already but... had it, but we had the greatest hits mm -hmm. version of it. 
And it's just now got announced that the remake's coming out. And I love this series. I'm looking forward to playing this. Granted, apparently this one's like one of the hardest ones in the series. I think it's because of the mechanics. Yeah, honestly. and the clunkiness, because yes. it's first. But it is Demon Souls for the PS3. Mm -hmm. um, I've played in played all the Souls series. I haven't beaten them all because I just haven't had time. Um, the only one I haven't really got played much of is the second one and this one. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. I need to actually play through and beat them all. That would be a fun thing oh, to do. Oh man, that'd, that'd be a long, painful, yeah. painful journey. My favorite one's Bloodborne, obviously. That one, and I, three. I like three the aesthetic fun. of Bloodborne a lot more, yeah. the, the more gothic approach. I like the fight style because it's very risk versus reward, mm -hmm. aggressive. Rather, fun. rather than the, the defensive style that yeah. definitely Demon Souls and Dark Souls 1 took. So we have one Xbox game, and it is called Phantom Dust. Honestly, I had never heard of this game before. I uh, don't really get many Xbox games, but it is an Xbox exclusive. It's an RPG. Of course, I love RPGs. Mm -hmm. So I figured, why not try it out? I mean, a lot of people said it's actually a really, really fun multiplayer game. Doubt the multiplayer online aspect still up and running right now, but still something that we can mess around with on stream. Yep. So next up, um, this is another remake. Slash, at least I don't know if it's a remaster. Or it's a remake. Um, um, I think it's. A, mm, no, it's just a remake. It's just a remake. Uh, this originally came out on the Wii. Wii or Wii U? Wii. Wii. Um, it's a controversial series, kind of. But it is Xenoblade Chronicles, the definitive edition. Well, I mean, um, the, the main reason why it's controversial is just because of the whole frame rate and being yeah. really blurry between handheld and docked mode. But And a lot of people really didn't like the sequel. So I don't mind the sequel. And I mean, it's one of those things where, I mean, if you think about it, they made the freaking 3DS copy of it. Mm -hmm. So it can't be no worse than that. And they're going to end up putting a patch out later. So. I've always been a fan of the Xeno series. We own all of them mm -hmm. now. So, yeah. Next, this was one that just came in the other day. It is You Know. Oh, I got to read this. So it's, you know, a girl who chants love at the bounds of this world. It's a... What kind of a title is that? <laughs> a very long one. So this is a Spike Chunsoft game. And actually, the original version of this came out on the Sega Saturn. Really? Yes. It is a visual novel, too. But it's one of those... If, if I remember correctly what I read, it, you essentially pick your own paths. Mm -hmm. And different stories can come out of it. But... I mean, I I just like Spike Chunsoft. I haven't really been disappointed with any game that they've put out, yeah. so figured I'd pick it up on the cheap, well, it's hmm. on sale. You want to do the next one? So this this game, we're, we're <laughs> moving on to the Wii U. Apparently, this was really really crappy when it first came out. As are a lot of the ones in this series. And I don't know whether or not. It was a patch they put out, or an actual physical updated disc. Oh, I'm not sure. So it's going to be a crapshoot when we play this. Yep. But I decided to pick up Sonic Boom for the Wii U. I mean, honestly, I, I like the style of this, because it's not just your side-scrolling go fast. It's like an actual kind of like action adventure game, which mm -hmm. I thought looked really cool. And I, I don't know why, but I really like the character designs. I don't know why, a but I do. A lot of the more recent Sonic games are not side-scrolling and are terrible. I just want Knuckles to say, ask if he knows the way. That's all I want. Like I can he finish. He doesn't do that. I know, but if he did it, I could just not even finish the rest of the game. I could just stop right there and I'd be mm. happy. I'm not a fan <laughs> of the character redesigns in that game at all. I like Sonic's little scarfy, his little hipster scarf. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> So, this next game is a game that was released uh, right at the start of a new console. So it was on the previous console and the new console. Mm -hmm. 
uh, originally got it for the new one and beat it. It was and... the first game you bought between that yeah. and Mario Kart 8, right? Yeah. So we decided to pick up the Wii U variant because why not? And it is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm very curious to see what the difference is between having that handheld portion while you play it on the screen. Yeah. From what I've heard, it's mostly just the map, which is a little disappointing. You would have thought they would have and done a little bit more some with dungeons it. you have to use the motion controls that are mm -hmm. in the, the handheld, handheld unit. But I figured um, might as well pick it up now. It It's not going down in price, but the price on it hasn't started going up yet. Give it time. And it's a little bit more rare than the Switch version because a lot of people didn't pick it up for the Wii U. Mm -hmm. Okay, so keep looking at my phone. Um, <laughs> we have one PS2 game. I'm a little sad because I didn't realize that it what the the bottom of the disc was in, in rough as a shape as it is. I mean, granted, it can get resurfaced. So we can get good. resurfaced. But I picked up a fairly uncommon PS2 game called Ephemeral Fantasia and much like the back of the box says this is a game about a, a uh, musician. Yeah. Musician? Yes, a musician. Well I want to make sure he's a musician and not um, not a bard but uh, what's Dandelion? A bard. Is he bard? Is that what it's called? I didn't think yeah. it was a bard. I thought it was something else. Either way. It's essentially a bard. Okay. He plays music. Well, either way, he's a musician, and apparently likes to steal, and this game is kind of like Groundhog Day, where it takes place over and over and over again. You essentially relive the same five days, and you mm. have to break the sorcerer's spell and figure out the, the secret of the island and save the inhabitants. Mm. That's essentially the gist of it. But, I mean, it's a Konami game, too. Nice. That would be interesting. So this next thing is not a game, it's more of an accessory. Um, was it a couple weeks ago we tried to shoot a video testing out the brawler controllers that we got. These guys. As well as testing our setup for older systems. And the video didn't turn out too well because we kept running into connection issues with the, um, between the older systems and the Elgato and the, the splitter. splitter that we had. Among other technical difficulties. That oh, day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we bought a cable from Hyperkin that is just a three in one HD cable that we're going to test out. Um, seen some good things about it, like everything. There's also bad to it. Um, but it's essentially just a plug and play, plug into the back of the GameCube, Super Nintendo, or Nintendo 64, and convert it to HDMI. I'm, so. not, I'm really interested to see how this works out because they, I know they have a PS2 one or they're working on a PS2 one and if it ends up working out really well then I want to get that. But this essentially will cut out the splitter so that we have less things that is run, the signal is running through and hopefully alleviate our problem of the screen cutting out and it's never fun when you're trying to play like a platformer and the screen goes black. What are you talking about? It's fucking great. Because <laughs> it wasn't going black on our capture, on the Elgato capture. It was only on the our TV main screen. On the monitor. It would go black and we're like, what? what's going on? So. Which is funny because I don't run into that issue with the Vita or the PS4 where they're running through the... I think it's a Nintendo thing because Nintendo systems just have weird handshakes. The PS4s? Yeah. It's really wonky too. That does, especially the Pro. The Pro does not like our TV mm -mm. at all. You're, you're Although it's better now that we're running it through the. Um, Are we? You switched it? it? It runs through the VR box now, so it's. We were still running into issues when we did that. I haven't had problems for a while. Yeah. So. Hmm. I wonder if there was yeah. a patch we didn't know about. Could be. Anyway, speaking of, uh, do so we'll, to... we'll do a collection edition later. Okay. Afterwards. So, on to PS4. So, first. We actually have a game from Red Art. Is it Red Arts? Yeah. Or sorry, Red Art Games, which is another one of like the strictly limited, limited run out of France, I do believe. Mm -hmm. And I picked up our. I'm gonna go with that 
as the name, <laughs> how to pronounce that. But it's another game that's very similar to Journey and... Flower. Flower, Air. Oh, um, what's just the dining one? Abzu. Yeah. Which, that was supposed to be in the day and it didn't show up. Because, yeah, of course, UPS. That'd be on the next USPS. video. Yep. But it, it's just another peaceful game where you're trying to figure out the mystery of something without dialogue or really combat or... You're, you're just... It's a nice peaceful journey. Yes. Which is very nice compared to some of the things that's come out nowadays. Yes. <laughs> so, this next game... <laughs> <laughs> this kind of agitated me a little bit, but I, I let it be. Um, so, a couple weeks ago... Good old GameStop! <laughs> yeah, a couple weeks ago, there was an Instagram post that GameStop was having a sale on the... Was it is limited their, edition? It was their deal of the day for the, yeah. the limited, yeah. yeah. For the limited edition used, it was a pre-owned thing, so I didn't expect a lot from it. Um, but it was the pre-owned limited edition of the surge too but as you can see <laughs> clearly <laughs> they had it marked down like 80 percent or something ridiculous so i was like sure i'll bite worst case is i get the just the disc um, worst case is you would have gotten just the game in a gamestop case yeah. <laughs> which i'm glad that's so not so i paid for the limited edition they sent me the standard copy which the standard copy is in the limited edition but the receipt didn't mark it as limited edition. The receipt just marked it as standard edition of the game. So which kind of agitated me. Well, but knowing, knowing GameStop, they oversold what they had. Yeah. But in the long run, we got the game for next to nothing. And it's got the case and the artwork. It's complete. So. And I was like, it's not even worth arguing with them about it. So. Mm. And then this one... I think I got it off of Best Buy. It's Sakura Wars. This was on sale not that long ago. Uh, there's been a couple of these released in the United States. I know there's a lot more than in Japan than what we got. I want to say the last one was on the PS2 and the Wii. Mm -hmm. But it, it's cool because it's a robot fighting game. I'm pretty sure... I want to say it's turn-based, but then I almost want to say it's kind of strategy. Almost um, Eternal Sonata where you're given so much time to move okay. around, and if I'm not mistaken. And right now I'm just having fun messing with the rapper. Yes. <laughs> so, alright, next up, this is... It, it's a game that we wanted to get pre-ordered, but we forgot. This is a terrible <laughs> game. This is a game that's fun probably for like 20 minutes and then it's, it's like, it's I've it's seen, old. there's been a couple people on Instagram <laughs> that's already beaten it and said it, it's, it's worth it if you get it on sale. Yes. Which we did. It's a hilarious, um, I don't even know how to describe this. It's essentially... A shark RPG. Grand Theft Auto, but you're playing a shark, so... Yeah, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> it's Maneater. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Maneater. <laughs> It looks absolutely hilarious, but like B movie quality hilarious it's, of a game. It's a shark RPG. Yes. There we go. That way I'm not looking. It's almost levels or um levels, Sharknado levels of stupidity <laughs> in a game. There's nothing wrong with that though. Yes. So this is a game that did come in today, and I got it on sale, which they had it on sale at Walmart at one point. It wasn't marked down a lot. It was only marked down to thirty dollars, and then it just kind of disappeared, and I didn't see it. And that's Wreckfest for the PS4, obviously. But it, it's essentially just a demo derby game, and it's by T THQ Nordic, so it has potential. But then at the same time, it could be really crappy. You never know. But uh, it just seemed like a lot of fun. Something we could yell at each other about. <laughs> yeah. I don't know anything about that. And then I, I've been going on this whole binge on Amazon where I've just been typing in, and I saw that, <laughs> typing in like Switch games or PS4 or Vita games and seeing what's on sale. Essentially anything under 20 bucks that we don't have that we're actually interested in, I've been picking up. Or it looks interesting. Yes. 
and this one I've actually had in my wish list for quite a while. I thought about pre-ordering it, never did. And it dropped down below $10. And it is Override. I'm trying to think of what the game is that everybody compares it to. It's like a uh, War of the Monsters back no PS2 days. But essentially, you, you're just fighting other monsters and robots in the middle of a city. And the, the cool kind of gimmick to this game is if you've got more than one person playing, like say you've got four people playing, one person is the right leg, one person, or one person's the legs, one person's left arm, one person has the head. Kind of Power Ranger style. Mm. Good, good way to put it. But gotcha. it didn't really get good ratings, but yet every time I've seen a video where people have played this, everybody's thoroughly enjoyed it. So. So next up is a series that I kind of really want to get into playing. Um, it's an action RPG series. Mm -hmm. Started way back on Turbo Graphics, Turbo Graphics. Uh, well, MSX, um, a whole bunch of old Japanese consoles. <laughs> yeah, but it's a very popular series. It's always been interesting looking to me. So decided to go ahead and get. Actually, this was a pre-order, I believe, wasn't it? Mm-mm. Oh. We didn't pre-order that. Okay. But uh, this is Yeast Memories of Selseta. Yeah. yeah. The only reason why I remember this was not a pre-order is because you questioned why we didn't buy it. Yes. And we already have the Vita copy of it. And this is essentially just a port of the Vita game. Yeah. Yeah, I've never played a Yeast game. I'm looking forward to playing them. That's right, because you never we, played 8. I, I played no. 8. A little bit. A little bit. Just, just a smidge. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't get Yeast... Uh, eight for the Switch yet? We have PS4. We don't need it for Switch. We have that on the Vita. <laughs> That's See my point? Better on the PS4. <laughs> they, they said it wasn't that much better. You got cats fucking moonwalking in the street. That just adds to the hilariousness. <laughs> <sighs> All right. So another game that I had gotten on Amazon. It was on sale, which. I haven't been able to find this game on sale ever, and I think the only reason why is because the Definitive Edition came out not that long ago, and that is Slime Rancher. I actually thought about getting the Collector's Edition that they have through, um, oh shit. It's the same company that does the Hollow Knight Collector's Edition with the Traveler's Journal and hmm. Undertale. I'm gonna say it's like Friendship something. It's something random. But they have a collector's edition with a big old slime cat stuffed animal type thing that I thought about buying. But I never picked this up whenever we went to GameStop game hunting because it was always $35. I always waited for the price to go down, it never did, and then it just disappeared. So, finally got on sale. So next up, we have collector's editions. Um, this is the newest game that we have. Mm -hmm. Uh, this actually just got released Friday, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, once again, this is a series I have not played, but I went ahead and bought the Collector's Edition for this because the statue looks amazing and I love statues. Well, everything um, but her face. Yeah, her face is a little wonky. A little derpy. Uh, we own the first game, haven't played it yet. Gonna play it on stream before I play the second one. Mm -hmm. Or on the video. And we did not watch any of the spoilers on it. So no, this is as tempting as it was. Yeah, this game has been a little controversial a even little. before it was released. A little <laughs> spoilers for it have been just ridiculous. But it is, of course, The Last of Us Part Two. And like I said, we did get the collector's edition, which is a massive box that. Wow. Just wait till we do before. opening that box up was um, oh my God. a journey because they're packing a journey stupid. doesn't even describe it but like that was some fuckery comes that's with the best way to put it <laughs> this incredible statue which we'll get better footage of this this thing is massive this is probably one of the biggest statues that we own um, uh, I think the mirror's edge one's actually bigger between that yeah. and uh, but, Skyrim yeah we'll get better 
better footage of this. It's actually um, funny because when I got home, somebody had made a post talking about her face compared to the um, the Tomb Raider one that we have. Yeah, it's just <laughs> weird because like there's so much detail in this statue, but then like it's like they got to her face, her face, and just like <laughs> eh. nobody's gonna look at that. She's looking down. You're not gonna yeah, look at her. Yeah, it's like they just face. put minimum effort into the face, and it's just like what happened there. Like, her pants are textured. Like, her clothing is actually textured. I mean, if... It, and the painting on her face just... If it wasn't for the face, it would be a really, really nice figure. Yeah. And it's surprise. It, it's hollow, but it's heavy. It, it's... All of the weight is in... The cinder block. The, or the, the column. Color, column that she's sitting on. Like, that's where the weight's at. But it is heavy. It takes up a huge footprint. Um, mm-hmm. I had to shift some stuff around on my it's, my shelves. It takes a bigger footprint than the uh, God of War one, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And she's taller. Mm. She's not as big as Cloud, because that bike is massive. But it's so cool. <laughs> all right, you want to do this guy since this is all you. <laughs> so you got that. Uh, here lately I've been on this Disgaea kick because I don't know why. <laughs> uh, it's really out of the blue because I mean we, we've said it numerous times we're not super big on strategy RPGs. No this series is really starting to get to my heart because it's hilarious. Like, this is so much fun to play through even though it can be a grind fest the characters are, are just hilarious. Um, a good comparison, I would say, as far as like the dialogue, would be if you've ever played Witch in the Hundred Night. Which you could actually get as a DLC character in the fifth one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the Sky of One, I believe. Yep. This is the collector edition of it. Um, it's a very unassuming box. But it's cool. Comes with the amazing mouse pad. The no pie pad. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> but. It is complete. Has a Ooh, little. That was one of my face. It's a printy. Little stuff printy in here. Um, and a lot of other interesting things. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where the game is. There it is. Yep. Yep, there it is. So, yeah, the Sky One Complete. And you actually bought this used. You didn't buy it yes. new. This was used and it's sealed, never opened. So, fully complete. I bought this off of eBay from a game store a little bit south of us. No, nah, no, nah, north. This Virginia is south of us. No, it's it's up by um, E Star. That's still south of us. No, it's like parallel. No, it's southwest. Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm gonna put B roll of a map. And <laughs> <laughs> no, we're yeah. not. But. I was, was watching this for a while on eBay, and it was one of those ones where he had it listed at a price, and it went through its 30-day cycle, and which was very close to what it cost new. Yeah, didn't sell. He dropped the price. It went back through the cycle, and ever didn't didn't sell. And then he sent you an offer, right? And then he sent me an offer, or sent an offer out to people that are watching it, and I just I took the offer because. Oh yeah, it wasn't bad. It was it was a decent amount off, honestly. Yeah. And it's got a magnet. <laughs> like I wanted it, but I didn't really want it. And then he sent me the offer. I'm like, sure. It's like, why yeah. not? <laughs> In past videos, we showed off some of our uh, early 2000s mm -hmm. dragoon figurines, or Legend of Dragoon figurines that we have been getting. Um, previously, we've gotten. Rose, Shauna, mm -hmm. and uh, Congo complete in box that was yeah, which we've talked damaged slash destroyed in shipping. And we talked about Congo in the the last pickup video. Yes. Um, after the last pickup video was filmed, um, I had an alert on my phone that a lot of four mm -hmm. Dragoon figurines were posted. Um, two of them were complete in box. Uh, Three of them were damaged, even though the damage to the one that's in box was just a shoulder pad that was loose. Um, the one said that the weapon had some paint 
uh, yes. scratching the, or chipped or something, the axe. paint wear. And the other one had a broken weapon. Mm -hmm. The starting bid was pretty much the price of the one figure out of the box. Which was kind of enticing because it's like, I didn't think the bid would stay that low, being what they are, because mm -hmm. these were three of the more expensive ones. Like I said, the one itself is the most expensive when it's in the box complete. Yeah, in the in the box, there's two on eBay in the box complete for $174. Yes. So. Grant, this one was out of the box, and he did have a broken spear, which wasn't a problem. That's it. A little bit, a little, little bit of uh, model cement fixed that. Um, but I saved so I, or watched the auction, figuring it was going to jump up pretty quick. Mm -hmm. um, it got down to about a day before it ended, and there were no bids on it at all. So he had a make an offer on it. Mm -hmm. So I made him an offer for eh, more than what he was asking. It wasn't a great offer, but he wasn't getting any bids, so I decided to just throw a number out there see what happened. He didn't respond to my offer at all. Mm -hmm. The offer expired an hour before the auction ended. Still no bids on the auction. It literally came down to like five seconds, and I put in a max bid for the auction. That was actually more than what my offer was mm -hmm. by quite a bit. And there was only, um, I think, like two or three other people that were bidding at the last minute. Yeah, there was like three bids that came in on the last second. Um, my max offer was essentially what the one guy's worth. Um, I, and I ended up winning the auction for less than what my original offer was. So Go ahead and say, I think, what the, was it, one, one, 105 or 103? Uh, yeah, I think it was like 105. One of five ish. Yeah, for two in box Legend Dragon figures and two out of box. Yes. Um, and he said the guy should have took the offer because he he lost quite a bit of money. Mm -hmm. um, not that I'm bragging that we ripped this guy off. No, but just. It was. It's more so the simple fact, okay, so. If he didn't want the offer, he could have responded and been, you know, counter offered. eBay does that. I would have been fine with that. I would have worked, offered him more. But since, since we kept you in suspense, it was for a complete box Lloyd, which that one alone goes typically about ninety to hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. A complete box Dart, who has a oh, it's not a broken shoulder, but his shoulder pad doesn't stay on properly. Which I mean, even with Congol, his his flop all over the place. Yeah, they're not attached very well. But Dart's typically about a hundred. Plus, usually, there's a um, loose congle, which that's the one that has the paint scrapings on the, yeah. the axe handle. But that's because, I mean, it this plastic is so old that with some of them, it almost has that very sticky texture to it. I don't know why, if it's like a, a climate kind of thing. Yeah, like how a, salt air here. It's like 20 year old paint on figures that weren't high quality to begin with. Yeah, so it's pretty much just the axe stayed in his hand they went to go take it out and it yeah. chipped but that pretty much replaces their damaged one which the damaged one's still in the box because there's no point in taking him out he stays together right mm -hmm. in the box um, and, and then last one is Lavitz. yep who is by far the most expensive one and the um, hardest to find <laughs> yes is that his spear was broken right where the spear the shaft connects to the actual spearhead mm -hmm. we, we put some model cement on fixed it uh, unfortunately he doesn't stand up very well he's very not no, poseable he, he's already taken a couple tumbles yeah <laughs> we gotta figure out a better way of having him stand up and i'll, I'll do b-roll but that's why we keep like looking over here is because we have them yeah, we, we have a we, whole shelf of just figures right now it's we debated great. pulling them off to have to display here but it, it's just too yeah, much of a hassle yeah i mean you just leave them there yeah, so um, I'll, I'll do B-roll with the Eventually the we might get the, get Lavitz complete, but. It, it's gonna be a lot of sitting on auctions and just waiting. Getting the waiting, right price. Yeah, waiting for the right one um, to. 
But we now have, outside of Lavitz, we have everybody complete, complete except for him. But we have all five figures? Six. Six figures. Mm -hmm. Six figures. And two Kongles. <laughs> and two Kongles. One with a broken leg. Mm. And missing part of his axe. Salty. No. Oh. And he's the only one that has the sticker. Yeah. He's the only one that has the Sony sticker. It's weird because what was the one that we, I think it was Shana or Shauna was technically unopened. <laughs> See, I- That was my fault. I'm so dumb. Like we, we got him and we'd gotten Rose. Rose, I think it was supposed to be new in box. It was new, but had been displayed is what it said. Yeah. So it didn't have anything sealing it together. So I thought when we got Sean and we opened it up. It looked like somebody put scotch tape on it. Yeah. So I took it off thinking, oh, some dumbass put tape on it. It's going to rip the, the backing. And then, that was factory. and then I saw a couple of new unopened posts and I was like, yeah, we, we shouldn't have done that. <laughs> But that that's the main thing is like a lot of them don't have the tape and Kongle's the only one that has the Sony was it Sony exclusive sticker on it? I think it, it's got a little yeah. little gray Sony sticker on it and he's the only one that has it. I don't it says it says official official licensed product Sony computer entertainment. Mm -hmm. But he's the only one that had it in his packaging. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but then again, we have it kind of, so it doesn't look He's bad. He's tucked in the back and kind of hidden. Yeah. So eventually we have to get him replaced, or his packaging replaced also, too. And... Yeah. Okay. So... Something else she's very excited about. See, I'm even gonna dust it, because it's dusty, because it's been sitting. We haven't hung it up yet. So... It also attracts dust because of what it is. I know. So... One of my favorite games, and it's one that I grew up playing on the Sega Saturn, is Virtual On. I know I've talked about the arcade cabinet, I've shown off the complete in box for a couple of various systems. I would love to get the arcade cabinet, but let's be real. It's absolutely massive because it's a two-seater, and it's impossible to find, and it's stupid expensive. So even if I manage to find one, and buy it we would have to keep in the garage and that's not something i want to do nope so i got the next best thing this is actually one of the marquees that goes on the arcade cabinet and it's uh there's the blue side and then there's the pink side and i paid i think 30 bucks for this so I'm not complaining. We're probably gonna just hang it up on the, the wall over over top the, the door. But I figured since I can't get the arcade cabinet, I can get the next best thing, which is the marquee and the service manual for the arcade cabinet. <laughs> I don't know why. There was, well, it's, it's just the nostalgia of it. Like I can't <laughs> have the arcade cabinet. And if I really felt like it, there's a lot of parts being sold on she eBay. Don't try to piece this whole thing if I parts. really felt like piecing it together over time, I probably could, especially now that I have the service manual. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but somebody on eBay just had a, a literal crap ton of old arcade cabinets. Pickles is getting antsy. Yeah, she's getting annoyed. <laughs> but, uh, Excuse the corgi. They had a, a literal crap ton of arcade cabinet manuals, and they had this for 10. I actually lost the auction, and then they sent me a message and was like, hey, if you really want one, I have one that's just in just as good condition as the one that got sold. Uh, sure. And I actually paid 50 cents less than the person who won the auction, so. <laughs> <laughs> but it, part of the reason why I got it is, granted, they're very bad copies but it has all the the mechs and just like what the screen's supposed to look like it, it's just it's cool it's really cool so i, I just thought of something that we had, didn't pull out that technically we did oh no oh yeah well we can do that one in a minute because real quick so non-video game related but kind of video game related so there's a person on instagram her we could have gotten him <laughs> her uh, Instagram name is Bramblepaw, 
and she posted a series of manga called Judge. And essentially, this is just Danganronpa meets Saw. And I, sadly, I've already finished it because I went ahead and bought the whole series, which is just six books. And power read it. I didn't power read it. Read it. I I milk the shit out of this. Do you understand? I could have read this in a night, and I read it over the course of a week. And book six, I was just gonna look at the last page to see how it ended, and I just started flipping through the first couple pages, and then 20 minutes later, I finished book six. But <laughs> but it, it's just an amazing horror series, very similar to Danganronpa. So if you like that game, you you would love these. And it's very predictable up to the end. You don't necessarily think how it ends is what's gonna happen, but I definitely won't spoil that. And if you really feel like it, there's a really bad Indonesian B movie based off this. It doesn't go with the storyline at all, but it has the same premise of a bunch of people uh, with sins that correspond to the seven deadly sins all stuck in a room, forced to murder each other. And from what she told, has told me about it, I didn't read it, but I uh, got the cliff, no or cliff notes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, the ending is very unexpected and... It is very unexpected. It's a nice little, like, curveball cliffhanger <laughs> ending. Like, oh, wow, okay. Because, <laughs> okay, so I'll get into it a little bit, like, at the end, you kind of think it's one of two groups, and it ends up being the group that you don't necessarily expect running the whole thing. And then you get to the end, it's just like, uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> but it makes so much sense. Okay, so, so last thing. Our last thing. <laughs> um, I believe it was the, the last pickup video we talked about our nice little original Nintendo DS mm -hmm. and how we ordered capture card and we didn't know if it was going to come in a mod for it which is a capture card which ended up coming in and we took the time and actually installed the mod I don't know how well you'll be able to see it can you see it uh, it's a little yeah you can see it for the most part but right here there you go on it is a Micro? Mm hmm Yeah. It's a micro HDMI output. Not HDMI. Micro USB. USB, sorry. Um, but this will allow us to essentially stream the DS games. Much more reliably. Directly than... to the computer with no input lag. Yeah, unlike the 3DS where... It's it... doing it by Wi-Fi. Yeah, and as the wind blows the wrong way, you kind of lose connection. Where this, this is hardwired into the computer, like, you should not lose any connection. This was an extremely easy modification to do. Mm -hmm. The hardest part was cutting the hole. Mm -hmm. Everything else literally is just unplugging the ribbon cable for the video, plugging in the one that is included. Mm -hmm. And we still, one thing we wanted to do... And then plugging the other one back in. One of the things we wanted to do is, I, I'm yeah, not going to get close in. enough, but where the stylus is there's actually a hole because you end up cutting away that space yeah. for the card to fit so we were going to get a original ds stylus trim it down so that it just fits in the hole and then glue it into place that way it uh, keeps dust from getting into yep. it but i mean I've, I've already posted a couple of um openings yep. video captures pretty sure i did both of the the zelda games and that was with this yeah. so. it looks really really good that's why i make a point whenever i post any instagram tv or any videos that's capturing the intros to games i make sure that i say like it's with original hardware it's not emulation yeah. so. it made me want to try to get the uh <sighs> get the actual physical hardware mod for the 3ds until i saw the insane amount of soldering you have to do with for that one the part alone is 15 dollars. if you get it installed like if you send a 3ds in to get it installed it was what 250 yeah they don't even you can't even buy the part right now you can't no you can't even buy the installation you can buy the part you just can't buy the installation but <laughs> like looking at the 
the final product, it looks like a spider's web of wires going mm -hmm. across the motherboard on both sides. But I, <laughs> honestly, I think if you could get it, it would be well worth it just because of how well this works. It would, but I don't have the soldering expertise, expertise well, at the moment to do that. That's what I'm saying, get someone else to do it. <laughs> um, I do want to learn more. Mm -hmm. I have all the stuff to do it. I just need to take the time. buy broken systems or uh, instructional kits and work on learning more. I used to... I, Learned a lot of soldering when I was in middle school, actually. Me too. I had a class on it. Me too. But that was. I never showed you. I have. Ago. I have a little robot where we actually soldered all the resistors and everything to it, and it's a little tripod robot on wheels, and it had a little microphone on the front, and it was set up so that whenever it hit something, it would back up a little bit and then go the other direction. It would just run. Yeah, I was. The only person in our soldering class that could actually get the things to work the way they're supposed to. It's not that hard. You just yeah. make cute little Hershey kisses and make sure that the things don't touch that you don't want to touch. <laughs> we have people that couldn't even get the lights to work. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just follow directions and it's fine. But that's everything. Um, yeah, I think I think that's it. Pretty sure this is about the same length as all the other ones, so Probably. we lied, but we it's talked. okay. Cause, Cause we like to, to explain a little bit more the, the rhyme and reason behind mm -hmm. why we get some of these things. Cause like we've said before, we're not going for complete collections of no. any one system. We are literally just buying games that interest us and that we would actually want to play. There might be one or two games here or there that we bought just because either we got a really good deal on it or, I don't know. It looks somebody, cool. some yeah, <laughs> somebody gave it to us or something. Mm -hmm. But I think that's gonna wrap this up, this mm -hmm. pickup video. Uh, we've been doing a couple of let's plays. I've been doing Shimigami Tensei Four on the side. We still gotta finish up Journey. We gotta get the the brawler. Yep, we've got a, an N sixty four N sixty four video for the brawler controllers and now the uh, pound cable that we plan on getting up so definitely a lot more videos it's been roughly about once a week that we've yeah. been able to put out videos let's start doing more um, i have a couple less plays i want to do for entire series haven't said where i want to start yet but so definitely keep your eye out on youtube instagram facebook we'll, we'll be putting up updates and getting stuff out quickly as we can. I mean, gotta remember, we, we have full-time jobs still, so this is like a little, little side deal. Yeah. I got like four hours of sleep last night because of my job. Yeah. <laughs> Good old midnight Collins. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, that's it for now. Thank you for joining us on yep. this uh, pickup video number four. And Possibly. No, it's four. It's I checked. Four. Okay, it's four. <laughs> but uh, until next time, guys. Thanks. See you See later. Ya.